catching the VIP bus from Phuket to Bangkok. Here's everything to expect from the journey, the duration, the cost, and everything in between. Let's do it. So the bus has just arrived. Here it is. Only the best for the best. Here's my driver. Hello. How are you? He's got a 72% safety record, so it's not too bad. Three quarters of the time-ish, you get there in one piece. The other part of the time, we don't talk about that. So ticket bought, you've got two options. 1,112 baht for a VIP, which I am, so obviously I've got the VIP. And then you've got 715 baht for a standard, uh, which the buses, both buses don't look too bad, but I believe the VIP one will be a lay down, but we'll find out on Friday. One thing I have learned in the past is sometimes the pictures don't always represent the real thing, but we will find out. Ticket bought, no flying, buzzing about that. Uh, yeah, both. And that is me all packed up, about to head out to bus terminal two. So just got to a bus terminal. One thing I've realized is that I've got no food and I haven't eaten anything but breakfast and I've got another 14 hours till I'm gonna be in Bangkok. So I really hope I can grab something here, but I'm gonna show you the bus in a minute. Give you a little tour of that. Hopefully it's nice and comfy, but I am now here. Things at platform number 26. All these buses look all right, to be honest. Departs in 36 minutes. Please tell me this isn't our only selection of food. So a decab. Do you sell hot food? Hot food, cooked food. I can just that in I think we got some noodles, which beggars can't be choosers. That was some instructions to me by Anna Scooby Boy Men. That's dinner and lunch. Good times. Wait three minutes. Wait three minutes. How much is this? How much? Twenty baht. Twenty baht. Well, oh, thank you. Get some Oreos too. Thank you. So. So that water, some Oreos, and some noodles, 40 baht, that's a quid. You take that out of the bus terminal, wouldn't you? So I lied to you, I didn't realize there is places to get food just on the outside. I've had worse for 50 p at a bus station. I've had worse. Bangkok? Yeah. Yeah, that's my bus. Let's go. Yay. Yeah, thank you. Let's see what this bus is about then. It's going to be about 13 hours, 12 hours driving, and I think we stop a couple of times. I'm telling you now, I don't need to look inside this bus to know that when it arrives, it's going to be a sweet feeling. Not too bad. You got chairs I think it will recline like that you've got Bluetooth USB your blanket it reclines that pops up go on the boy I'll take that we haven't left the bus terminal yet and I'm about to have finished all my snacks <laughs> Ten minutes till I leave and the snacks are gone. It's on the move. One thing to note about the bus is it can get pretty cold, especially if you've got 42 different people's air conditioning pointed right at you. So keep the blanket handy, keep a jacket handy, and you'll be sound. And it was at this point I realised I didn't have any accommodation for Bangkok, so I went online, booked something up before I got my head down for a bit of kit. playing some music out loud to try and I'm guessing wake everyone up. I have no idea why. I think we might be stopping. So it is quarter past midnight and they wake us up with some blaring music and now I'm being
being told that there's some food here and I not be getting some food so I don't know whether it's complimentary or we gotta pay but let's go see what's what. Oh I forgot I was in a hot country being in there, it's freezing. So we stopped at some kind of like bus station terminal thing. Well, I don't even know what's going on. I get three please. Three. So there's quite a few choices about. A lot of them say about get your coupon ready. I'm not sure whether my ticket gets me free food. Not exactly a low key environment considering it's half past midnight and most people are asleep. Hello. And then I get one coupon. Ah, thank you. So we figured it out. So these guys give you one of these free coupons and then you can crack on and get, get your order in. Thank you. Is this what I've got? Some sort of chicken gear, green vegetables and rice. All right, job done. Back on our bus, wherever that is. Ah, right, here we go. So we're gonna have about another five or six hours until we're there. So part of this trip, you do get some free food with one of these coupons. And to be honest, the food's not too bad. It's what, half 12, one in the morning. What more would you want? That's a perk of it. You save money on flight, accommodation, and you get free food. Back on the move again. Two minutes to one in the morning. Phuket is there, where my plum is. We are here in the middle, or a bit further in the middle. And then Bangkok is there. So it's around about four hours, 15 minutes, uh, four hours, 19 minutes. Let's kick back and relax for the rest of the journey. And boom, just like that, we've arrived. 5.30 in the morning. So I've got a hotel book now, but it's two o'clock check-in and it's 5.30 in the morning. So I have found a Starbucks that is somewhere that's open, so I'm gonna get a taxi to there. Everything seemed to be going so good. I've just realized I've left my favorite hat on that bus. I'm keen to know, what did you think of the bus? Would you catch it? Do you think it's worth it? For me personally, I don't like flying. It saves your night accommodation. We now know you get free food. You have more leg room. You don't have to deal with the airport. For me, it was worth it. I did get a bit of sleep. I would have rather not been woken up by loud music and I would have rather not lost my hat. But overall, it was a good experience. Let me know in the comments and I'll catch you in the next one.